Well, hello out there, my beautiful friends. We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles. I'm back in the Ocala National Forest, back home again. And today we're gonna be doing lesson number nine. And we've been talking about our mind being preoccupied in the past, thinking of past thoughts, bringing things forward. And just to keep everything super honest with you guys, I had an opportunity uh, around 2 a.m. this morning to notice myself transported in the past and doing self-sabotaging behaviors with a late night snacking, which is how I have come to handle things. So um, I'm going through this with you. You know, I feel like I have a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom and to observe myself being overrun by programming, at least like retroactively looking back now, because last night I was not really feeling looking at myself, <laughs> obviously. So anyway, this this book saves. This is amazing. It is it is a magnifying glass to yourself that there's nothing else like. So let's dive in together and, and do some healing this morning. All right, lesson nine. I see nothing as it is now. This idea obviously follows from the two preceding ones. But while you may be able to accept it intellectually, it is unlikely it will mean anything to you as yet. However, understanding is not necessary at this point. In fact, the recognition that you do not understand is a prerequisite for undoing your false ideas. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> These exercises are concerned with practice, not with understanding. You do not need to practice what you already understand. It would indeed be circular to aim at understanding and assume that you have it already. It is difficult for the untrained mind to believe that what it seems to picture is not there. This idea can be quite disturbing and may meet with active resistance in any number of forms. <sighs> Yet that does not preclude applying it. No more than that is required for these or any other exercises. Each small step will clear a little of the darkness away and understanding will finally come to lighten every corner of the mind that has been cleared of the debris that darkens it. These exercises, for which three or four practice periods are sufficient, involve looking about, looking about you and applying the idea for the day to whatever you see, remembering the need for its indiscriminate application and the essential rule of excluding nothing, for example. I do not see this tree as it is now. I do not see this grass as it is now. I do not see this arm as it is now. Begin with things that are nearest to you and extend the range outward. I do not see this cloud as it is now. I do not see that treetop as it is now. I do not see that pathway as it is now. It is emphasized again that while complete inclusion should not be attempted, specific exclusion should be avoided. Be sure you are honest with yourself in making this distinction. You may be tempted to obscure it. So, oh yes, <laughs> we are in it. We are on lesson nine and you know, the universe will bring opportunities into your life right at the right time for you. So I see nothing as it is now. This is a, a progression pattern that we're going through with these lessons. Um, notice yourself, be with yourself, embrace yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others, all those things, but apply the lessons as indicated and stick with it to the best of your ability. We're gonna have a great year together. Remember, do this three or four times today and I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Have a great day.